As the fireball is formed, it rapidly expands until it eventually reaches its maximum diameter, which is determined by its temperature. This extremely rapid expansion combined with the very high temperature generates a wall of highly compressed air that radiates out from the explosion. Traveling faster than the speed of sound, this wall of high pressure air is called the blast front or blast wave. Any above ground structures will experience immense pressure as the blast wave passes over them, as any difference in air pressure between different parts of the structure will exert a force on the structure as a whole. This means buildings can be demolished just by the passage of the blast wave itself if the pressure is high enough. At the front of this blast wave is an area of peak overpressure, after which the air pressure drops off substantially. The passage of the blast wave is accompanied by very strong winds, first emanating out from the epicenter and then, as an area of negative pressure follows the blast wave, towards it.